Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. We're going to talk about lots of events this morning and talk with lots of different people. Later on in today's show, I'll be talking with the commanding officer of the Naval Air Station down here in Key West, Captain Pat LaFere. Now, he's going to be talking with us about the U.S. Navy Blue Angels return to Boca Chica. I'll also be speaking with travel expert Caroline Cotton. She has some great summer travel tips for us this morning morning. But first, I'm going to talk with a Key West author. Her name is Leah Benner. She has just started a new career as an author of young adult novels. Now, all of her books in the series are really geared towards teens. The first one is entitled A Place Inside My Head. Leah, it's a pleasure having you here on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> now, you just released a book with absolutely amazing ebooks, Leah. Tell us about A Place Inside My Head. A Place Inside My Head is geared toward um, girls who are ages 9 through possibly 15, although many of my adult female friends enjoy the book too. So I think it's something that everyone can enjoy. Um, it is the first in a series of books, and the main character, her name is Kate Brown. The tagline for the book is Kate Brown Journals. And, um, Kate Brown, just to tell you a little more about it, she is a, a slightly awkward, toffer age, um, seventh going into eighth grader, and she um, has a secret about something that she did that no one knows about. So she daydreams to avoid thinking about it. And through writing poetry and journals, she starts to emerge from this dream world. and. Um, she has to start to listen to the guilty voices inside her head. Oh, so. I like it. That sounds intriguing. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Uh, seventh and eighth grade, that was the worst years for me. It, it is a tough time. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something about that age group. I feel bad for my mother during that time. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this is a book that a lot of parents then can also relate to. Not I think just, so. Not just I think so. Now, how long have you been writing, Leah? Well... I'm not going to tell you how many years it was, but when I was in college, <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, majored in English, mm -hmm. and I wrote a lot of poetry at that time, and then I just got involved with raising children and working and really didn't write very much at all, except for things that were technical in nature of business letters, until my husband and I took off on a boat. We sold everything and took off on a boat and came down to Key West and mm -hmm. cruised all over the Caribbean. So um, while doing that, I started writing emails to all my friends telling them about the, our adventures and mm -hmm. they kept saying, oh, when are you going to send the next one? We're living vicariously through you and you should write a book, you should write a book. Mm -hmm. So when we finally settled in Key West, I, I um, took my emails and put them into one big document and joined a writing group mm -hmm. and wrote a uh, book which actually came out this week on Absolutely Amazing eBooks, and it is called Diary of a Mad First Mate. Diary of a Mad First Mate. I like it. So then these are true experiences? Yes. Okay. Now, was it a good journey that you took down here? Were you a good first mate? <laughs> uh, it was an adventure, but mm -hmm. I call them misadventures. <laughs> <laughs> if there was anything that you could do wrong, we did it wrong. <laughs> um, we had no idea what, we, what was in store for us, mm -hmm. really. And um, it wasn't like a prolonged vacation. Mm -hmm. It was stressful and it was work, but there are experiences that I um, would never want to let go of. Mm -hmm. It was a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. It certainly made me a stronger person. Mm -hmm. And well, you're here to tell about it now. And yes, <laughs> I lived through it. <laughs> you lived through it. So okay, so that's exciting, Leah. So you've got that book out right now, but then of course you have a place inside my head. When are the next books in the series going to be released? The next book in the series will probably be out in the next few weeks, mm -hmm. uh, or a few months. I'm sorry, the next few months. And it is called What Secrets They Hold, mm -hmm. and it is a sequel. Okay. And Kate Brown um, goes off to, uh, has a trip to the Bahamas in store for her. Okay. And I use a lot of the experiences that I had while um, cruising in the Bahamas um, come out in this book. Well, I so. look forward to reading it, along with reading A Place Inside My Head. Leah, thank you for being on. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There is much more to come in today's show, so please don't go away.